Let me give you a verse from Leelavati to have a sense of how nicely various formulae can be beautifully codified in the form of metrical verses. Nowadays, people do not have a feel for the formulae which represents the area of a circle or for instance the surface area of a sphere or the volume of a sphere. So, if I ask some of the students do not even, so even in my engineering classes, so they might have mugged up the formulae, but it does not stay in their mind since they do not have a feel for that formula. Unless you have a feel for it and you are able to quickly visualize the surface in your mind and then relate to that, so it does not stay for long periods and you do not even really enjoy. If you ask what is the area of a square, anybody has a feel you multiply this side by that side and you simply say a square and if it is a rectangle you say a into b, but when it comes to the area of a circle, so you encounter some strange number which is called pi. So, you say pi r square, you do not even have a feel for what pi is. So, pi is considered as irrational number and today they may be calling it as transcendental number and having a feel for what pi is, so it is not so easy when you really memorize that formula. Indians instead, they have represented the formula in a completely different way. In one single verse in Leelavati, which is composed by Bhaskaracharya who was in the early part of uh, 12th century. In fact, he was born in 1114 uh, AD. He has captured three formulae, the formula for the area of a circle, the surface area of a sphere and the volume of the sphere. So, let me render the verse. Vritta Kshetre Paridhi Gunitaha. Vyasapadaphalam tad kshunnam vedaihi upari paritaha kandukasyeva jalam golasivam tadapichaphalam prishthajam vyasanighanam shadbhir bhaktam bhavati niyatam golagarbhe ghanakhyam. Vrittakshetre Paridhi Gunitaha. The term Paridhi represents the circumference. Gunita means multiply. Vrittakshetre, Vritta means circle. So, Kshetra, the geometry. If you consider the geometry of a circle, so Vrittakshetre Paridhi Gunita Vyasa Padaha. Vyasa represents diameter. Pada means one fourth. So, Vyasa Padaha Phalam, Phalam means area. So, this is the term that they use. Now, the way he presents the formula for the area of a circle is, so circumference times one fourth the diameter. So, this can be visualized as C by 2 and D by 2. What is the advantage in doing this? So, one has a feel for what the circumference is and uh, one obviously knows what is diameter, but this essentially turns out to be pi r square. So, without introducing this pi, they give this, but what is the advantage in giving it in this particular form? Generally, <coughs> the tendency to find the area is multiply one side by the other side. So, this can be actually visualized just like the formula that we have for a rectangle. So, how does it work out? C by 2, if you just cut the circle into half, then you should basically turn it into extremely small strips of cone from the center. So, and then if you sort of spread it, so what will happen is one side will be C by 2 and then you insert this from this side to the other side, then what you will see is basically essentially a rectangle. So, C by 2 and D by 2, so will essentially give you the area of the circle. So, this is what he is basically having in his mind in representing, sometimes certain texts give as C by 2 into D by 2, 
So, here to fit it into the meter he essentially says circumference times diameter by 4. So, this is the formula presented in the first quarter.